question of the last century. Plato was thinking of it. Einstein was thinking of it. Is sidearm or backhand better? If they couldn't think of it, if they couldn't come down to a definitive answer, who am I to give a true answer as well? But I'm gonna give my two cents on which I think is better, sidearm or backhand. My opinion's gonna be very controversial. Probably. <laughs> and it's not by a lot. You know, I personally throw backhand and sidearm. And to start off, you are a better player if you can do backhand and sidearm. To catch those up to speed, I'm just gonna throw two discs right now to show you the difference between the two. Destroyer and an FD. So when you backhand, everything goes left naturally. When you sidearm, everything goes right naturally. Okay, cool. Hope you enjoyed the two seconds of B-roll I got from that thing. With Anheuser, that was the other flip I was gonna show you. So with Anheuser, you can force it right. And it'll go left. Maybe I don't throw into the jungle. And then with sidearm, you Anheuser left. And it goes right. I'm gonna go grab those. Uh, myself, I started off my career with backhanding 16 years ago. I keep saying this, this is my fourth take. I started sidearm. I <laughs> don't know. I started sidearming. For beginners and myself, it was much easier to start sidearming. So I started sidearming. I was just whipping. I think it was two years in, you know, back then there wasn't any YouTube tutorials. So backhanding to me was the most complicated thing ever. I went to backhanding, fully forgot sidearm, mained backhand. And then two years later, so four years of my career, I started learning both and then I had both. Whenever I teach somebody new, I always suggest we should try sidearm. And it, it's, it feels awkward to a lot of people off the beginning. The thing that's most complicated for people is like how it's sitting in your hand. Cause it sits on the outside of your hand unlike backhand where it sits on the inside. We all know how to throw a Frisbee. Maybe not well, right, mom and dad, but everybody else can besides our parents. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this video short and it's really just gonna be a lot of opinions. I personally, long-term, think a better sidearm would probably be better than a better backhand. I, I know, that's a weird thing to say. If you could somehow get a really, I mean, I have one, I have a touchy. You know, if you can learn how to control a, a sidearm, you know, you can get it pretty damn close to whatever you want to throw it at. Let's just say I wanted to throw at that tree, and I did, but I didn't say it before I threw, so now you won't believe me. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. I think why sidearm would be better in the long run is because you're looking at whatever you're throwing at and I think you can get a lot more confidence with your throw in whatever situation you're in if you're looking at it. Uh, it's a safer throw as well. I mean, it's more torque on the arm than backhand. Backhand's kind of everything. But then again, I I think it's un it's indisputable that backhands go farther. You just can't, can you do a 360 sidearm? Can you? Maybe I don't try with a putter. <laughs> I'm doing it with a leopard, like that's any better. Oh, that actually crushed. Damn, I've never sidearmed a leopard like that. <laughs> okay, well, maybe I retract that statement. I'm pretty sure most people don't do that though. I think a 360 sidearm is the <laughs> most kush throw style. So, to wrap it up, I think the sidearm would be the best throw style out of all of them. Now it's backhand. Technically, I think backhand would... <laughs> For professionals, for people that are very good, I think backhand is the best thing to be really good at. But then there's some, there's like Chris Dickens, I think he, he's a, he's an animal sidearm. You can throw like 450 or off. Uh, he just switched to Innova. He was on Prodiscus. Uh, the picture's on the screen. Now I'm not confident on this video anymore. I was gonna be really confident. I was gonna say one thing and stick to it. It was gonna be controversial. But now I think I'm gonna go to an uncontroversial round and say backhand. Or I could be a bitch and say tomahawk. <laughs> That's the best throw style. Undoubtedly, how could you argue otherwise? I make fun of tomahawkers because I can't tomahawk. They just take a shortcut and they go over everything. Is that the third underdog? Is that the underdog? Everyone's gonna start saying tomahawk in the comments now. If you're a beginner, sidearm. If you're a pro or you want to, the most, oh, 
damn it, it's probably backhand. Backhand's the best one. Cause you can, you can technically do everything backhand sidearm as well. It's just, the only reason why I was going to say sidearm was because you're looking at your target. It's a safer throw when you're in the rough, you know, you've got like this weird leg and you're sticking it out like this. And your sidearm is beyond useful for that. And maybe that's where sidearm takes the win. Maybe that's where it's, it's, the out shots it's the scrambles like that sidearm will save you hundreds of strokes if you can do one like out of the rough uh, especially if you have like a touchy one with a putter or a mid-range mako or maybe rx3 Fuck, i'm completely drawn <laughs> you clicked on this video to get an answer and i'm about to throw it back on you what do you think it is I'm gonna say sidearm. I'm gonna say sidearm. I, I think I, it has to be sidearm. I think the scramble alone, that concept itself, that makes sidearm maybe the most important. But Joe, you don't sidearm a putter into the basket. Okay, backhand when you putt. I'm not throwing a sidearm putt out the window though. I think if you can do it, let me know. Is that something we try in a future video? I just sidearm putt only. If you have any tips for sidearm putting, let me know. If you enjoyed this video and my confusion, uh, hit like and subscribe. Thank you, I appreciate you very much. My answer is sidearm. Controversial, I'm gonna stick with it. I didn't really think this through before the video. I thought of half of it and then the other half emerged and then my brain wanted to pour uh, through the holes in my bucket hat. Eat water, drink food, slap ass, take names. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.